Hi guys, this is Alex from MuseThemes.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the Facebook Photo Albums widget which is a great widget for bringing in your photos from your Facebook business page. So we have our demo site here and as we can see there's multiple ways that we can add albums into our site. So at the top here we actually have a slider with the widget embedded into the slider and below we have a gallery with the widget showing the images in this grid-like style. So as we can see, as we hover over each of the images, it comes up with an overlay, with an icon, which we can click to view it. And when we click on this, a light box appears to show the image. We can also see the previous and next arrows, which gives this slideshow functionality, as you can click through the images and view each one. OK, so let's jump into Muse and see how we can set this up on our own Muse document. OK, so I'm inside Muse now and the first thing I'm going to do is drag the widget onto our canvas and I'm going to place it near the top, like so. OK, so let's just pop that up there. And I'm going to place it central in the page so that our gallery appears in the centre of the page. So let's go into our options panel. And as we can see, it is quite a long panel, but it's not that complicated when you actually get down to it. So let's focus on this top section first. First of all, we have the Facebook business profile ID and we have the unique gallery ID. Now, the unique gallery ID is only really important if we have more than one gallery on the page. So as it is, we can leave it as gallery one. The Facebook business profile ID is what we have to get from Facebook, which is what I'm going to show you now. So let's head over to our browser and I'm on the Adobe Creative Cloud page under their photo sections in albums. So I'm going to embed the timeline photos into our album widget. So we can see here there's a list of photos that Adobe have uploaded and the way that we're going to get these photos into Muse is by looking at the URL up here. So as we can see we have a URL here and there's a certain part of this that we're going to want to copy and paste and this part starts after the a dot and it ends just before the first full stop so once we've got this copied we can copy and paste and then we can head back into Muse and we're going to paste this into our first field here the Facebook business profile ID so let's paste that in there okay and now we're going to preview this page in browser and we'll check whether the photos have been brought across into the widget. OK, so perfect. We can see that these photos have been brought across into the widget and have been displayed in the grid type view. And we can also see when we click on the photo, a light box will appear. So let's head back into Muse and look at how we can customise and style this widget up. So the first thing that I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make this widget wider in width so that we get more photos displaying. So I'm going to hold from one of the side pulls, click on Alt, and I'm going to drag it out to increase the size of this widget. So now when we preview this page in our browser, we will see more thumbnails appearing along the same row. OK, so great, we can see that this has been reflected, and there's now three thumbnails appearing per row. OK, so let's have a look at how we can customise this widget. So I'm going to go over the thumbnail settings. Now there's quite a lot of settings in this part, so I'm going to breeze over a few and go into a bit more detail where needed. So the number of thumbnails dictates how many thumbnails that we want to be showed in the gallery before we click load more. So I'm just going to set this to eight photos. The thumbnail width and the thumbnail height will dictate the actual size that the thumbnail will be. And then the thumbnail scale option will dictate how the image sits in the thumbnail. So for example, if we change this to scale to fit, and then we go into our browser, we'll be able to see a clear difference. OK, so as you can see, the images are now scaling to fit rather than fill. So I'm going to change this back to scale to fill out of own personal preference. Now let's move on to the thumbnail filter. So currently, this is set to overlay. However, we've given you a few options that you could set this to. For example, if you want it to be sepia, grayscale or blur. So I'm going to leave it on overlay for the moment. And we also give you the option to change the overlay colour. 
So for example, if we wanted, we could go for a nice orange. And then you can also change the opacity of this overlay if you want to. The thumbnail padding will change the spacing in between thumbnails in the gallery. So this is a good option if you want to style your gallery up and spread out the photos a little bit. So I'm going to say set this to about 5 pixels. The view size icon we can see if we go back into our browser quickly and that's this small icon that appears here. So we can change the size of this and make it a lot bigger if you want your customers or users to be able to see it better. So I'm going to change this to for example 40 pixels. The view icon will also change the colour that this icon appears in. And then the light box colour will change the background colour that the image pops up in. So, for example, I'm also going to set this to orange so that it's clear to see. And we can also change the opacity of this. So, now that we've changed all of these settings, let's head into Muse and see what it looks like. Okay, so at the moment we can't see any difference. However, as we move our mouse and hover, we can see that the background for the overlay is now orange. And we can also see that when we actually click to go into the light box view, the background here is also orange. So these changes have been applied. You can also notice that the view icon is now actually larger than it was before. So things are looking pretty good here. Now at the bottom, we currently have this load more icon, which if we press, loads more images to the gallery. Now this is great, but what if you want to style up your own load more button? Well, we've actually added the functionality for you to do that right inside Muse. So if I head back into Muse, I'm just going to go into our widgets library, which is the standard one built into Muse. I'm going to drag on a state button onto our canvas. And I'm just going to place it below the gallery like this. I'm going to quickly clear the content from this gallery like so and all of the styling and I'm just going to place some text in here which says load more. I'll quickly give this some different text Proxima Nova for example and I'm going to make it 20 pixels. Okay that's looking really good. So this is now inside our state button and we're going to have to give this state button a graphic style. I'll just quickly apply a stroke to this so we can see where we are. So to link this up to our widget, we're going to have to give this button a graphic style. To do this, we can go across to the graphic styles panel and create a new graphic style. Double click on this and give it a name. I'm going to call mine BTN for button. And then this is all set up. The only thing left to do is actually link it to the widget. So inside our widget, I'm going to go back to the options panel and I'm going to change this from default to custom. If you do leave it as default, you can style it up using the options below, like colour, font family, etc. So I'm going to change the custom button style to BTN, like we called our button down here. So now, if we go and preview this page in our browser, we should see this being reflected. OK, so now if we scroll down, we can see that our new button is appearing below the gallery. And this is the custom one that we made. And if we click on it, it will load more pictures into the gallery. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. This is a really great widget if you want an alternative to a small, simple CMS system where you can upload photos for your clients. And it's a really great way to show off the photos from your Facebook business page on your own site. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. And as always, if you have any questions or queries, don't hesitate to drop us a note. Until next time, goodbye.